Java Burn is a powdered supplement mix marketed toward weight loss, but does it actually work and how effective is it? Let's analyze it to see if it's worth your money, see if we can replicate it with a cheaper alternative and give it an overall rating. Let's first take a look at the ingredients. Here are the doses per packet. The recommended dosing is one per day. Despite the picture of coffee beans all over the packaging, these packets don't actually contain any coffee mix. They just contain the powdered supplement and you need to add it to your own coffee. Mixing it with water isn't gonna make any coffee. Now, whenever supplements add any ingredients into their product, there are three common issues. First is that the doses they use are way too small to be useful. Second is that they aren't using the active compounds. And third is that the ingredient itself has not reliably shown any beneficial effect in humans. When we analyze these ingredients, we're going to see which one of these issues they have. Vitamin D plays an important part in metabolism. Evidence from observational studies suggests that obesity is associated with low vitamin D. So if you are deficient in vitamin D, taking vitamin D supplements may support your weight loss progress. However, if you have sufficient vitamin D, taking extra vitamin D is not going to help you to lose more weight. This is an important distinction people should understand. Just because a nutrient is involved in metabolism and supports weight loss doesn't mean that taking more of it will speed up your weight loss progress. It's more like if you don't have enough of it, it might slow down your weight loss progress. But once you have enough of it, it's not gonna have any more effects on your weight. That being said, Javerburn gives you a lower but workable dose of vitamin D at 800 IU, even though most supplements typically provide at least 1000 IU. The B vitamins, particularly B12, is used by our bodies as a part of our metabolism by helping to convert food into energy. Just like vitamin D, supplementing with additional B vitamins doesn't help people to lose more weight. Although deficiencies in those vitamins can make it more difficult for your body to burn fat and slow down your weight loss. Some diets like vegetarian and vegan diets often supplement B12 since those diets are naturally low in them. However, the B vitamin doses provided in Java Burn are hardly useful. Useful B vitamin supplements are providing a few hundred times the dose that Java Burn provides. There is some weak evidence to suggest that supplementing chromium in people who have insulin resistance problems like PCOS or diabetes might help with insulin control and allow their bodies to better respond to their body's insulin. This doesn't really translate to much weight loss unfortunately, with the average person losing around one additional pound over a few months. Unfortunately, these beneficial effects only appear to affect people who have diabetes or PCOS. So if you're healthy, chromium likely won't do much for you. Also, the doses in Java Burn are too low to be useful, so it's not going to help even if you have diabetes or PCOS. The benefits of green tea and green coffee for weight loss are mostly due to the caffeine content, helping to improve exercise and increase physical activity. However, if we go by all the listed ingredients on the label, the actual caffeine content in Java Burn is likely very low, since the green tea and green coffee extracts in Java Burn are not refined and the doses are so low. The other benefits of green tea and green coffee beyond the caffeine, like having anti-inflammatory, or antioxidant properties really depend on specific compounds found in these extracts. For you to be able to get these benefits, supplements need to purify those specific compounds. For example, green tea has a specific compound called epigallocatechin gallate, or simply EGCG, which is believed to provide the beneficial effects of green tea. Similarly, green coffee has a specific compound called chlorogenic acid, Java Burn does not purify these extracts, so you're likely not getting much EGCG or chlorogenic acid at all. I've talked about the benefits of these specific compounds in separate videos before, and I'll leave them down below in the description if you're interested. 
L-carnitine is an amino acid that's used by our body to help convert fat into energy. Research suggests that L-carnitine may help those who are actively exercising to lose a small amount of additional weight, with patients losing on average two to three pounds over a few months. Unfortunately, the doses that were used in those studies were over 2,000 milligrams per day. The 100 milligrams Java Burn provides is 20 times less a useful dose, and is not gonna be helpful at all. L-theanine is another amino acid that's often used to help support cognition and improve wakefulness. It's not expected to do anything for weight loss, but may support your efforts to exercise more and burn more calories through exercise. You're probably not going to get this effect from Java Burn since the dosing again is a little too low. From the listed ingredients, the possible caffeine content is probably the most concerning ingredient. Caffeine can negatively affect some people who are too sensitive to it, are taking certain medications, or are pregnant or breastfeeding. However, if we go strictly by the label, the actual amount of caffeine in Java Burn is likely very small, which would explain why they want you to put it into your own coffee, since this product lacks much of its own caffeine. The crude green tea and green coffee extracts found in Java Burn don't provide much of anything beneficial for weight loss, including caffeine. So even though the pictures of coffee beans all over the packaging would suggest you should watch out for the caffeine stimulation in Java Burn, I don't think there's actually enough caffeine in there to cause problems or to do much of anything for most people. From what I've seen, Java Burn's ingredients suggests that they're trying to create a supplement that supports exercise, meaning that it would only be useful if you are already actively increasing your exercise. However, the doses they use are way too low and many of the extracts are ineffective. They seem to indirectly recognize that it's useless by telling you to combine it with a coffee, which might actually help some people exercise more. The coffee, that is, not the supplement. Mixing this into the coffee is not likely going to make the coffee any more effective for your weight loss, nor benefit your exercise. And I highly doubt it's going to improve the taste because vitamin B6 has this nasty, salty, bitter taste to it if you've ever tasted vitamin B6 dissolved in liquid before. It's not pleasant. Overall, Java Burn is mostly just an expensive vitamin D supplement. It tries to combine a few ingredients that can improve wakefulness, but uses doses that aren't going to do anything. It's also pretty expensive, with a monthly supply costing $50. A generic vitamin D supplement will run you about $1 a month. You could just drop that into your coffee and you've essentially recreated what Java Burn is going to do for you. Rating Java Burn by effectiveness for weight loss, I'm giving it an F. I don't expect it to improve the coffee that you're mixing it with in any way, shape, or form. Anyways, using caffeine for weight loss requires you to exercise more, and if you're unwilling to do that, even the coffee may not help very much. Rating it by cost, I'm giving it an F. It's a pretty expensive supplement that can be replicated by just adding vitamin D into your coffee. Rating it by safety, I'm giving it a B. Assuming that there's no contamination, illegal ingredients, or unreported caffeine, most of the ingredients are relatively safe to use, and realistically, the caffeine content in Java Burn is too low to do much of anything. Overall rating, I'm giving an F. I would recommend you stay away from it. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with someone you know can use the info.